All right, welcome. Thank you very much, Talisa. We are here live at the Lauder Hill Sports Complex at Oakland Park, and we are ready for the semifinals of the game. It's about a soccer game and the netball games that's taking place. It's an annual event, and we are here. So the, the semifinals is about to take place, and the finals is on its way. So follow back on me. The release is here. We are here live at the ninth annual alumni soccer and netball tournament and we have one of the DJ who is holding it right down and he's none other than Mighty Mike Run South Florida. What's up Mighty Mike? The games are nice. The games are, are, are a good quality, high quality. Netball, football. People are supporting it. Then the people are buying food and it's for a good cause. WZPP, nice for one of them. We sponsor the event every year. We've been doing it every year with them. It's the first legal FM station in Florida that plays 24 hours Caribbean music. No hip hop, no so no, uh, no souls, but reggae soca. All right. So you have it. So when you want the legal side of the Caribbean, WZ People Radio Station is where it's at. Go and turn the building reporting live. Follow back on me. We're going to interview some regular people. Which team are you supporting? Right now, Calabar. Are you supporting Calabar in the netball or in football? <laughs> in the football. And who, is, who are you supporting in the netball? Seven strikers. Seven strikers. And we are here live with Stompa, right? Am I correct? The girl them hardware and lumber. Who is the netball team that you're carrying? All right, but just, me not really know about the netball team to the fullest light. I'm just a watch them and them are going good. And I like how the blue are going. It doesn't matter who is playing, he's supporting the blue. All right, so follow back on me. More interview. We caught up with another promoter in South Florida, and she's been doing great stuff also. Promoter of soccer and fun days and all of that. And she's here at the ninth annual Netball and Soccer Alumni competition. Nikki Blaze, how are you doing? I'm wonderful. Always blazing a fire. You know how I do it. I'm here and it's a great environment. The weather is good, beautiful people. I love it, my Caribbean people. And in the meantime, we want to find out from you which netball team you are supporting today. Today, the best one. The best one. All right, so there you have it. Another wagonist here at South Florida. All right, so you don't have to ask any question who this young lady is supporting today because she's already representing her color. Good evening, how are you today? I'm doing good, thanks. So tell us a little about the game, your experience, and we are, it's obvious which team you are supporting, and how is your team doing? Oh, well, my team didn't make it to the semifinals, unfortunately, but hopefully next year they will. And which team is that? The best school in Jamaica, Kingston College. Bridgeport, the underdog, is doing very well, and that's the team I'm bringing right now. Okay then, so that's exactly how you explain yourself when you're a wagonist, all right? <laughs> all right, so we're here live. We're going to talk to the, one of the promoters of the event. Let us see if we can find him because he's moving like Wi-Fi. Christopher Sterling, former player and student at Conroe College High School, Montego Bay, Jamaica. Big CC, represent. All right, so tell us the, um, the, 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 the experience that you have been having over the, the years and the experience yesterday and today. Just give us a summary of what's happening. Well, this is the ninth staging of the alumni soccer tournament in South Florida. And it's really a pleasure that Conwell could be back here in this tournament because this tournament affords the alumni associations in South Florida to raise money and send back home to the high schools them respectively. We're trying to get the netball a much more publicity it's, it's getting there, it's not where it needs to be, but it's getting there, it's a work in progress and we're hoping that next year and the years to come we'll get more sponsors on board and we'll have more families come out, the young ladies, the kids and even the, the, the young men supporting the netball. What is the prize for today? Well, I know there's a trophy and, and pride and glory is the main thing for us. Carnival College, glory, red for fame, gold for, gold for glory. So. That's, that's all we're fighting for, glory and the name. Always in the West, always the pride. All right, red and gold, and you know red is dangerous. All right, so Cornwall College look like they're dangerous and they're going straight to the final, all right? I'm the tournament director, my name is Oliver Street. I'm in charge of the entire tournament, running the soccer, the netball, and all the other kiddies game that we have here. Okay then, well we noticed that the turnout is excellent, eh? and we want to find out from you, why did you pick this venue? Well, this is 
the central point of the city of Laurel Hill. And this is the park that we've been using now for the last eight years. We've been having it going and every year it gets bigger and better as you can see and the audience, the crowd is just coming out. We're not even there yet. The fact that you're doing the event for nine years, what is the concept behind you doing this event? Well, it all started with a group of soccer players in Florida from different schools got together and decided that we needed to have a tournament in South Florida that represented Jamaican high schools. So what we did was we came up with the fact that we would use an alumni system where past players from past Manny Cup and the Costa Cup teams would come here once every year to showcase their talent and that's what we've been doing now for the nine years. Each year we get a little bigger and a little better, we're getting more teams involved and the competition is getting stronger and stronger as we go along. The prize money for the schools is that when you win, the schools earn $2,000 which is donated to their the alma mater of their choice, which will be the school they are representing. So, supposing somebody in Jamaica would like to be a part of your association, your competition, how do they get in contact with you? They can reach us via our Facebook medium, which is jhsasn.com on Facebook, and you can also follow us on our Twitter account, and we also have our Instagram account. Okay, then you see they are Googleable, they are sociable, so it is easy for you to get in touch with them, and I think this is something good that you can be a part of, so make sure you contact them for next year's tournament.